Are you recording it? Yep, I just okay. Okay. there it goes. Okay, so okay. Um, so I'm Tammy Stamper Davis on Facebook, but Tammy Davis in real life. And this is my husband, J.R. Davis. I call him Charlie Brown. That's just my name for him. But um, to give you a little bit of a backstory on us, um, we went to high school together and never talked to each other. Um, he played football. I was in color guard. I was the band geek. And now we're both geeks together, I think. Anyways, right? Um, so um, we ended up Facebook friends. Um, I needed Farmville neighbors. And so um, uh, I added him on Facebook as a dare. And then we started talking a month later. And then two months later, we kind of went out maybe a little bit. And then literally our relationship when it started was we were together, we worked the same hours. And so after work, we were together, we got up at the same time, we went to sleep at the same time. We, if we, if we could have, we would have went to the bathroom at the same time, but we only have one, one toilet in the uh, bathroom. So that's just how close we were. Um, and then he switched shifts at his job. Um, and then a couple of months later was it I started selling pure romance. Um, so it's a little bit of a backstory and I do want to give him some love in the chat or whatever, because when we asked him to do this last night, we kind of just told him it was going to be for the honey badger team. And then that was for the whole national team. So, what? I don't know what that was. Um, so um, anyway, I guess they wanted to have you start by talking about how you felt and stuff about pure romance, what your conception, what your idea of pure romance was um, when I went to my first party at your cousin's house. Well, I thought it was, I thought it was like the whole lion's den. <laughs> You know, type things, uh, fun party. I'd heard about them before. I never heard of pure romance, but I thought it was the same thing. Um, I was kind of like, yeah, okay. Um, and, and his direct quote was, we're not using any of that shit if you bring it home. Yeah. But to give a little background on myself, the reason why I said that, I was raised uh, in a church that was one step below Amish. Um, basically one step below Mennonite, um, things like that wasn't discussed in the house, wasn't discussed, you were told, sex was not basically sex. not supposed to be for fun, but to reproduce, and that was it. Um, so I grew up Uh, we're not going to be using this stuff. There's no way. Uh, but until I really got to see what pure romance really was, then I was okay with her, you know, going to the parties and stuff. Um, she come home one night and said she wanted to sell it. And I was like, hell no. You're not selling pure romance. Um, kind of one of those things where we were at the time in church. And I didn't. The popsicles coming on me. I didn't think, you know, that that it was something that you know, church going people should be doing uh, as far as her self pure romance. Um, My church. We basically went for back and forth for a year, asking me if she could sell it. I was like, no. Um, and then. Kind of got to know Stephanie a little better, and basically, I was like, okay, if you want to sell it, go ahead. Just don't invite people from our church to your parties. Um, little did we know, Renee went to the same church we did, um, and of course, Renee sold it also, um, but... You're good. It's a little bit better now. It was cutting out for a sec, but you're good. Just kidding. It froze again. Pause, please.
Okay, hold on for one sec. I'm going to, I just tried to change the moderator status to Tammy. I think that it's her internet that it's freezing up. She gone. Okay, let me stop.